everybody, this is fitness specialist Emily. Um, today I'm going to go over some important information. We're going to go over deep breathing, or as it's also called diaphragmatic breathing. Now the diaphragm is a really important muscle that we really don't talk about enough in the um, fitness industry. So I'm going to tell you some of the benefits of diaphragmatic breathing or deep breathing, and then I'm going to show you a way to practice. So our breathing is a way that we can control um, being in our parasympathetic system versus our sympathetic system. And when you think of our sympathetic system, we want to think of like that fight or flight um, mode. So that's when we're really stressed and anxious, um, when we're doing that really shallow breathing using a lot of our neck muscles and chest muscles. Um, we're doing the stressful breathing. Um, and as you know, chronic stress contributes to a lot of health problems. I mean, think high blood pressure, poor sleep quality, um, the list will go on and on. Um, so it's really important if we can control our breathing, we can control our stress levels to a degree. Um, so. A lot of us take around 25,000 breaths a day, give or take, um, and our diaphragm is really equipped to handle that many um, breaths. Our neck and chest, not so much. Um, so we really wanna focus on um, using our diaphragm. And it also helps keeping our core nice and stable and strong. Um, so diaphragm, Diaphragmatic breathing is a little more complicated than you think. It's not just taking a deep breath in. Um, there are some cues that we wanna watch out for um, when we're diaphragmatic breathing, so we're gonna go over that next. All right, so to start with diaphragmatic breathing, we wanna make sure that we have good posture. We're gonna put one hand on our chest and then one hand on our lower belly, just beneath our belly button. I'd also suggest doing this in front of a mirror. That way you can see if your neck and chest muscles are moving while you're doing this. Ideally, we do not want any movement in through here because our diaphragm should be the only thing that's expanding. So you're gonna feel that in your lower belly, so you'll feel that hand move. Um, so you're gonna start with the inhale through your nose. It should last about four seconds long. You're gonna hold that breath. You should feel your diaphragm nice and tight. Um, that's gonna be eight seconds. And then on the exhale, you wanna exhale nice and slow, four seconds long. So this may feel really unnatural, um, but the more you practice this with anything, the easier and more natural it'll become. Um, again, it's a really great tool to control our stress levels. So you may wanna start out in the morning when you get up, just practicing 10 of those, um, and then add at some point before you go to bed another 10. And eventually we wanna think of all the times we become stressed during the day, whether it's because of traffic, or maybe something at work or in your relationship. So you wanna think about practicing those throughout the day as well. That'll really help to control our stress levels and then um, we'll avoid some of those negative um, effects that uh, come with stress. So keep practicing and um, let me know what you think.